Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Mark from PowerSonic and Apprentice One to One. We're on a job today, swapping some consumer units. I'll explain a bit about the job later in the video. I don't want to waffle too too much at the start. But I'm out in the countryside, so we're, uh, if I spin you around, see, this is the Yorkshire world. So we're in a village called Wetwang, and uh, yeah, countryside for miles to see. It's a glorious sunny day, every and um, we're cracking on with the job inside. I've got Matthew and Nathan with me on this one. I've been around the country through the course of this week already and it's nice to be local and come out with the lads and have a bit of a laugh uh, and do a bit of work. So yeah, we're, we're gonna swap those consumer units. We've done an ICR on this one a while ago. The landlords had a little go at some of the repairs um, themselves, but unfortunately some of the more complex ones haven't been done in a way that would make them satisfactory. So we've gone back to plan A and we're swapping the CUs over. We're gonna sort out the supply cables into the boards and I'll talk you through those in a bit because it's always better to show you rather than try and explain and uh, yeah we'll have a chat with Matthew and Nathan as well they've got some real world problems to deal with the young folk are today are really struggling and suffering as we all know and I'll let them explain themselves what their biggest issues are of the day as the video moves along but yeah hope you enjoy please like and subscribe to the channel I'm going to try and get the three of us on more often I've finally managed to convince Matthew to come on Nathan's easy going he'll go with the flow and just do as he's told anyway and uh, yeah he's got a nice t-shirt on today actually Nathan check it out I hope you like it catch you all in a bit Right, so we're back on site and we've got some consumer units to replace. Matthew's just chucking everything all over the floor. Um, we've got these old boards here, so there's an Economy 7 one. I just zoom you in a little bit, you can see. And carry on Matthew, don't let me stop you. And then we've got the, the consumer unit board for the house. Um, it is a bit of a mess up there, actually. I'll jump up these steps and I'll show you. There has been an attempt at some repairs here by the landlord, I think. And you can see there's kind of copex being added over these. It's hard to show you. It kind of comes through the drain pipe, but these are steel wire armor feeds into these boards. And um, I can't get it to focus to show you, but they're not glanded, they're just kind of stripped. And then singles, these were all just singles on show. Someone's had a go at sticking a bit of um, copex over it, as you can see there. And again, you can still see the single on that tail there as well. So it's been decided, it's all going to get stripped out. We're going to gland these into some new boards because these are plastic anyway. Our landlords decided they want rid of those and get some metal ones on. We can make a much tidier job of all this, get these steel wire armors sorted. I'll show you in the garage how they originate. And um, yeah, they kind of can't get it to focus there, but they've just put some tape on into the Copex with the single insulated cables. And then you can still see the ends of them in the top of these Henley blocks. So whilst it's not a bad effort, uh, it's it's still not the best, I don't think, and we need to get it put right. Plus, we've got all this cabling up here as well. It's just a bit messy. If I jump back down the steps without falling and breaking my neck, you know, they kind of got the hole in the ceiling there. This is straight in the main exit to the house as well, so we can make a much tidier job of all that. And uh, Matthew's just going to strip these out, and we'll pop the new boards on, and I'll show you a few steps along the way. Matthew's got a real world problem he wants to tell us all about though. He's just, he's just moved out of the family home into his own little flat and, and he's got a real issue that he needs some help with from people. So what's your problem Matthew? Well, it's, it's on the top floor. It feels like about 50 degrees and my bread goes mouldy every day. So your bread's going mouldy every day? Pretty much, maybe two. So last, a loaf of bread, two days an expensive loaf of bread isn't lasting long enough because your flat's too hot. Yeah. Because you're on the top floor of a of a building that's getting a bit warm for you in summer. I'm like Martin Goodman on Friday night dinner. I have to walk around with my t-shirt off everywhere. Well, that's a scary thought. But yeah, I mean, my suggestion was you eat the bread faster or buy a smaller loaf. That seems like the logical thing to do. Bake, and and bake you, a loaf every time I you were coming to the idea of inventing a refrigerated bread bin to go on Dragon's Den with. And then I googled you're not supposed to put your bread in the fridge, so it's a bad idea really. Okay. Well these are real world problems that the young people of today are faced with. Um, yeah, if anyone knows how to keep your bread fresh when you've got a flat that's a bit hot, drop it in the comments, Matthew will be very, very grateful. Okay, so this is the supply intake. We're actually in a detached garage, so the supplier's cable comes into this meter box, which is in the garage wall. We then have these uh, switches, um, isolate switches on the wall here, and we've got one that feeds over to the house with an 80 amp fuse in. We've also got the Economy 7 one in that has a 60 amp fuse in, and then we've got this little sub board here for the garage, which has just been tapped off the house 
um, isolating board. The tails go through the wall into the, the meter box just out there. It's a bit of an unusual setup. And these steel wire armors then run off into the house, one feeding the Economy 7 board and one feeding the, um, the main house board. And yeah, where they come through, they kind of come through in some uh, waste pipe and the outer insulation of the steel wire armor cables is just stripped right back into that pipe. I'm hoping we can pull enough slack through to then gland them properly into the board. Someone's kind of wedged a bit of Kerpex over them and then kind of forced them into the Henley blocks, but we've still got basic insulation on show. It's still a bit of a mess. There's a great big hole in the ceiling and uh, there are other issues as well. I mean, you can see on the top of here, these need a bit of work as well. So we're gonna get these glanded up properly, make a bit of a better job of those. The isolators themselves are in reasonable condition. They're not, you know, there's nothing especially wrong with them. They're providing the adequate overcurrent protection to the cables feeding down to the house and the Economy 7 board. There are a few other little snags around the building that we've also got to sort out, some other C2 items, but this is someone's home, and as you know from watching my other videos, I don't like filming people's houses and, you know, it's their private space. Even if they agree to it at this time, those feelings might change in the future. And there's also children living here as well, so even though the adults give permission, um, yeah, it doesn't sit right with me, so you'll never find me doing that on the channel in occupied homes. So I'm gonna try and get some footage just to the switch gear, the lads doing the work, and we'll have a little chat about stuff as we move it all along, and hopefully it becomes clear what we're trying to achieve and we make a reasonable job of it. So this is the meter box, and it's a little bit unusual as I explained on the other side of this wall. So we've got the main meter here, which is looking after um, the house electrics, and then we've got this economy seven meter here as well which kicks in overnight. Uh, we've got a 100 amp service head. You can see the, the neutral kind of flies off straight through this wall to those um, isolators on the other side. The line loops through and is then, you know, that's the line tail to the house CU and then this is the line tail to the Economy 7 um, CU. They're kind of forced and wedged a bit through here and we're gonna get all this tidied up as well as part of this work. And um, yeah, we'll hopefully get it a little bit nicer and set up a little bit better so that it, uh, it's, it's safe and uh, usable for all concerned. We'll jump on with the video and um, we'll show you a bit more around the consumer units as Matthew's got his fingers out, his finger out and got them stripped. So you can uh, have a look down that waste pipe hopefully and see exactly what we're talking about and uh, the way we're gonna tidy up uh, the hole in the ceiling and the other bits and pieces as well. Catch up with you all in a bit. Power bank doing its thing out here now. You can see it's kicking out 230 volts. It's been charging these for quite some time. They're all on the go and um, yeah, it works a treat. Okay, so the guys cracked on. We've got the two new boards up. You'll see we've gone for the Crabtree Starbreaker rods again from Electrium. A uh, bit trunking across the top. We've extended the steel wire armors, so we've glanded them into um, a junction box and then come out into these new boards. Uh, it's accessible. It's the best we can do without pulling in a new steel wire armor all the way through because there was no slack in them. So we've made the best of it we can. We've got this ceiling that's getting patched by the decorator and uh, everything's covered away from down below. There's still access from the floor void above. And then yeah, these boards, we've got all the cables dropped through now. We've got the um, the immersion, sorry, the economy seven board on the left and then the main board for the house on the right. And uh, yeah, we can get all those done. We've linked across to join the, the earths, so they're all tied together as well. And uh, just a bit of tidying up, we're fixing them onto the wall and dressing them in with the ICBOs. I'll let the guys get on with it because I can see them giving me evils that want to crack on and get finished for the day. And we'll jump back on in the video when it's all put back together. So not only have I been sent to the wholesalers for materials by these two goons, they've also got me out of here brewing up. So apparently I'm T-boy and um, skivvy. I think that's important when you employ people is to let them um, have a chance to do the work. It's really tempting to just take over on this one, to be totally honest. And also, I haven't done much um, on the tools myself this week, so I thought I'd have a little try out on it. But I'm, I'm not allowed. I'm on tea duty, fetching stuff from the wholesaler's duty. So we'll press on with the video and I'll show you what they come up with towards the end and we can pull it apart together and all the problems that we can find. We'll let the guys know. Hey, yo, there's another one. Come on, Puss Puss. Hello. You look tired, mate. Hello. Hello. You're a friendly one. Comes to take the love away from your mate. Okay, so we've gone for the Crabtree Starbreaker boards again. You can see there, we're just getting them labelled up now. Uh, all untested, so we've got these labelled through for the house board and then just adjacent to it, we've got this uh, little heater board as well. 
chunking over the top and everything nicely glanded up we need the decorator to come and patch this last little hole in the ceiling which they're going to do and yeah we're going to get a tidy up and then we'll have a little chat about the job and explain again exactly what we've done and why uh, i'll show you this a bit if i can not fall down the steps so you can see we've lined them up there end cap to go on the end of the trunking a little crappy alarm panel there but that is what it is and uh yeah looks pretty tidy i'd say for a nice little quick turnaround job got those um, supply cables adequately extended so they're properly connected and secure and they're accessible as well and then we're straight into these boards and away we go. Nathan's put his shades on especially for the video, I've got Matthew out here as well. So a few of you sent a few questions in that I thought we'd ask um, Matthew and Nathan, some of them very technical. Nathan's in his EGTE top there right Nathan? That's because I bought a size too small and uh, I had to donate it to someone thinner. Quite comfortable. You what? quite comfortable actually. Oh, nice, nice, good, good. Shameless plug. You what? Shameless plug. I mean. Well, EGT doesn't exist anymore, it's called something else. Sam changes it every week. Uh, it's probably called something else by the time this video goes out as well. But anyway, that's another another topic. Someone asked Nathan what you prefer, chicken nuggets or burgers? Probably burgers. Burgers over chicken nuggets, okay, fair enough. And are you still thinking it's pretty easy being an electrician, nothing too difficult? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's one of the easiest jobs you could imagine yourself doing at the minute. Yeah. Nice, fair enough. And uh, Matthew, you've got the real world problem of getting bread to stay fresh yeah. in your flat. Especially on a day like today. So everyone feel Happy sorry for Matthew. Year. I know we've all got these um, real issues around coronavirus and looking after each other and supporting everyone, but if anyone can spare a loaf of bread, Matthew is in need. Um, he doesn't have any fresh bread at home at the minute. Anyway, what did you make of that job today? It's gone all right, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah? You've done most of it, haven't you, Nathan? Pretty much. Pretty much all on his own. Matthew had a go, but he couldn't do any of the hard bits, so he had to let a real electrician step in and um, do all the hard stuff, because really, he's, he's pretty lame, talks a good game, but delivers nothing. Is that about right? No, you've just got smaller hands to fit in the holes. So. Yeah, that's, that's what all the rubbish electricians say. Uh, um, yeah, anyway, we're going to jump on and pack all this crap up. You can see we've got the, the power bank. I wonder if that's still going, actually. It's been sat churning away while we've been carrying on with work. Yes, it has. It's still kicking out into these batteries. We've got a whole load of crap and mess to tidy up. We're going to get on with the testing. And, um, yeah, we'll jump on with the, the video in a little bit. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video, watching Matthew and Nathan swap those boards. And I do remember that they're not doing this to make content for my channel, they're doing it because that's their job. So they weren't slowing down, Matthew's told me very forcefully more than once, he isn't there to make content for YouTube, he's there to work as an electrician and make money for the business. And I'm not going to knock him or change him for that at all. So if I can't film fast enough, that's my problem, as he says. Um, we're showing Nathan's journey now, where he's um, coming in as an apprentice, I think that's the important thing to show my little YouTube channel so I talk as an employer quite often about my experiences and I'll keep doing that and we'll get Matthew's experience as someone who's newly qualified into the industry you know he's a couple of years out of his time now and Nathan coming through fresh into the game he's happy to be on YouTube as well so we're going to share those three different perspectives we're going to keep that coming as, as content through the channel I do have some historical podcast episodes that I'm going to get out people who first asked to come on and I had to stop filming because of things I had going on in other places but I committed to those and we're going to get those done and they should start dropping out I think the next video after this one will be one of the podcasts so I'm looking forward to getting those released any of the guest based ones coming forward will be on uh, Neil or Sam's channels as I mentioned on, on a video prior and yeah otherwise that job wasn't the most difficult there was other issues within the property that we've sorted out as well but as I explained I don't like showing around people's homes that are occupied I try really hard not to do that actually even if permission is given because you know that's just one person in that property giving permission it might not be the case long term either so yeah it's just something I'm not comfortable with that's my own um, feelings on it so that's that's the only reason I'm not doing that the consumer units themselves as I explained on the video we had the basic insulation on the steel wire armors that was exposed there had been an attempt at trying to sort it out with some Kerpex but it was very bodgy and it didn't meet the intent of the regulations as far as our interpretation of them was and uh, the ultimate owner of the building agreed with that and rather than me mess around with what was there I mean we could have stripped out what was there put some trunking above those boards and tried to make good because we had issues of IP4X on the top of the existing boards as well but for the hassle that was and the time it would take and the cost you would incur doing it it wasn't that much more to have the new 
um, metal consumer units put in place with our CBO protection and make a lot neater job of it all around. So that's what we went for. Like the Electrium Crab, uh, Crabtree Starbreaker boards, um, big fan of those, really solid and robust. I used them on another video as well, not so long ago, and I spoke about them on that one. Uh, and yeah, the, the quality of those, I think that's going to be for going forward the board of choice on domestic um, consumer unit replacements and installations, I think. Still put the Hager ones in as well, we've still got stock of those actually to use up, so they'll be maybe appearing in the odd video or two. But yeah, I like the. I like the two screw points on the main switch, I think that's a nice touch. The boards feel really solid and strong, they're not uh, flimsy, it's nice thick metal, I like that as well. And uh, the RCBOs and the fact that they clip in and there's no DIN rail to mess about with is another plus point. And uh, the costs are, are pretty similar, so yeah, shout out to Electrium. Again, not paid or sponsored, nobody's stupid enough to do that with me, and uh, yeah, I'm just, I just a fan of the product. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can say on that one. Um, we will try and get a little time lapse of some work as well here and there I think this is just me learning how to produce content I do realize some of my videos are really probably not very interesting to the people on YouTube but I just hit record and then post um, I'm not one of these expert content creators who absolutely knock it out of the park I wouldn't try and get involved in their game I'll suggest them anything like that so yeah this is just me having an amateurish attempt at sharing my day day in the life and also we're going to get back on the test board soon. I have been building a rig that it's finished. I've tested it myself. It works. And it's based on the IET Spen uh, video that's no longer available. I did say if that wasn't brought back up, I would produce something. And true to my word, I have done. And I am very mindful that that video that the IET um, put out was heavy on the PPE and been risk aware and showing how to do it all in a very, very safe manner while presenting that and I don't want to put something out there that's a bit bodgy and a bit naff just for the sake of demonstrating what the actual event is you know I want to show it in, in the right way so we've still got a bit of work to do on there so we can present it properly I guess is the right way that's something that I do want to get the content right on because it's a really really important message the actual principle of the board it's all finished it all works it looks very very similar to what the, the IET had in place there I've basically done a knockoff version of it and um, made my own mirror image, mirror image of it in a way so yeah there's there's that as well that I'm hoping to get out on the channel soon I would much prefer that the IET's video reappears because that you know no one's ever going to top that um, it was fantastic and I still don't know why it's been taken down but fingers crossed that comes back and then I don't have to go to the trouble of trying to present something uh, in a way that, that isn't too Heath Robinson but yeah, other than that, starting to waffle, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, there's more videos coming soon. I've got quite a lot of content recorded over the last um, few weeks. And I'll try and piece it together into something that makes a bit of sense for everyone. And as I said, I've got a few podcast episodes that I'm going to focus on probably in the next couple of videos. So they'll be out as well. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you on the next one.